Hello my dear YouTube viewers and welcome to my channel. This is Rob speaking. Um, well, welcome to the August update since I skipped the July one and only because there was nothing in bloom and I just thought there's no point of me actually showing you anything since it's just foliage. Um, however, I would like to tell you about my little success story with this beautiful uh, LC Tropical Pointer Galaxy, which as you can see has a sheath growing and finally, finally, finally it's decided to bloom. Uh, hopefully it will bloom for me because I don't know how long I'm going to wait for it. And only because it's in the conservatory and it's getting a lot of lot of light and it's absolutely loving it. And also next to this are my two Dendrobium Phalaenopsis, one which is the Gerak uh, Flame and the other one which is the Liberty White. And that is so far... Oh, oh also let me update you about my... Uh, my Cattleya uh, Varsevici Semi Alba, which is growing really, really well. So that's it about my weird orchids. Let's go to the Papio Pedalums. Okay, let's go. Okay, welcome to the Papio Pedalum corner plus something else. So, um, I'm going to be updating you what's happening, uh, what did happen, and what is not happening. So something, something, something. So basically it's gonna be my third month now since I've been using the Lakusa. Or maybe more than three, three, it'll be like three, three and a half for some. Four, probably not yet. But yeah, um, just a quick update to you. Something is happening. My orchids are liking living in it. Um, it saves me a lot of trouble with watering, so I don't have to water them more often than two weeks. I just replenish the water so the water level is quite high and that's it. Um, I do still have Papio Pedalums growing outside of Lacusa and they're doing quite well for me. I would like to repot them eventually in the Lacusa pod but I'll wait for them because um, I have two Papio Pedalums which I've received a replacement and uh, for once I've got quite a while ago and I've received them dead and it was there was from Orchid Garden Nursery in Poland and basically well there wasn't dead dead but they were near dead and it took a very very long time to actually save them and uh, basically and the all are uh, uh, two actually three other ones I have in normal pods are absolutely huge and uh, when I did do my Lacusa pottings I decided there's no point of actually putting them in there because they're too big and those ones are uh, the Papio Pedalum, Green Lawrence and cross uh, you know, first Cla Cla Claire de Lune crossed with Green Lawrence so basically this guy because I have this magical tool which I receive as a gift yes this is this lovely magical tool and I use it to gently open the um, leaf bands and I can peek what's inside so basically this guy is developing four flower sheaths which are going to grow on stalks which I'm very very happy about this and it's absolutely humongously big and I probably will have to buy the end of this year or next year we pot it into a 15 centimeter pod and I don't think I'm gonna split this one because this is an absolutely beautiful orchid and it's one of a kind and I heard this guy in Germany fetches really really high prices and I don't want to share it because I absolutely love it if I make a division I'll probably make a divi small division for someone who's my absolute best friend and I know they really really deserve it and I'll know they'll love it as much as I do um, the lip Wunder crossed with uh, Glauca film is growing very really well it's growing really really quickly and absolutely beautiful okay those are the this is the rescue lecusa pod so basically um all those papu pedalums in here are either rescuing or the weak so basically you have the um the uh, rossi crossed with glaucophyllum you have the new which was absolutely almost dead then you have the seedling that 
dear Rachel thought that someone was dying. Dear Rachel, um, it's grown two new leaves and there's another leaf coming out. I There's also something coming out which looks maybe like a flower, but I'm not sure. Then there is the, the perle, which I don't know why it stopped growing. It's probably resting. And then there's Henrianum, which is doing really re well and it's growing a new leaf there. And the big pot, um, you can see stuff is happening. This one guy, which is the J Papiopedalum JDLO, is growing really well. It stopped growing for a while. I'm guessing, I don't know what what's happening here. It, maybe it's the period, it's too warm for them. The multifloral vinicola is doing quite well. I can't see any signs of flowers. Maybe it's it's going to recover. Uh, Papio Padono Exel is growing really, really well. It has a lot of new growth. Some of them are maturing, so hopefully something will happen. Uh, the Papio Padono Godofraya Angpon cross with Loe is doing really, really extremely well. Um, this one growth here, which I was worried it might die because it was a bit... Ugh, it's doing really, really well. Okay. Um... This guy, which is the Papiopedalum American Hybrid, is going to go underneath the scalpel because it's taking too much space and I want to divide it. And hopefully, if some of you guys want, I can send them a division because this is the quite famous Papiopedalum Prism from the Netherlands growers. And they're quite beautiful because they are crossed with the... Oh, oh God, I don't remember the name now. Um... They're not your typical American hybrids because those are quite bulky and everyone called them called them the bulldogs. This one is the one that is quite light and has a very beautiful spotted uh, dorsal petal, so it's really nice. Um, now those are this is my uh, one of my fellow nopsis that is the one the galaxy burst sunburst starburst something like that the pink ones yeah, and back there this is my lovely. Volkiara, which I'm going to send to a friend and I just didn't get the time to get to it because I was absolutely ridiculously mad with work and every single occasion I had I just I, I just rested and I really need to sit down and do it because I don't want to seem like a horrible horrible person because I forgot about this. Um, this is my Papiopeldum Niveum, which are, are which was the replacement as I got for my birthday gift. Sadly this guy came back with a dead flower and I never had the chance to see it but it has a new growth so there is hope. I've repotted it um, not long ago so I'm waiting for it to grow. Um, okay this is the... oh I wanted to show you this. So basically um, this guy... oh come on Okay, you can see something. So this guy is basically the Papiope... Uh, not Papiope... Phalaenopsis hieroglyphica crossed with Mariawe, uh, Mariae. And it's doing really, really well. It has plenty of flower spike and hopefully... Hopefully it's gonna bloom soon because it's developing the flowers and it came without anything. And yeah, I'm actually really looking forward to it. Now, as you can see, I already made a video about this guy. This is the beautiful, beautiful Aliciara Evening Colors the Gloaming. And as you can see, there is more flowers open. It's one, two, three, four, five flowers right now. There's two more cut to come. And oh, I absolutely love it. I, it's very fragrant right now. My room smells of li Liliac, a bit of a Liliac, a bit of citrus and Get in the zoom, yeah. Bit of a bit of citrus, and it's just very nice and refreshing. And yeah, the ah, oh, I'm 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 speechless because this flower, those this plant is just beautiful, and the flowers are amazing, and they're just like they're very gorgeous, but they're also very playful. So you can like see, not all of them are in this pattern so growing upright some of them are growing upside down and they just they look very playful to me and with those beautiful colors you can see is the pink with the chocolate and vanilla it's just like oh i can't stop myself I'm just moaning about it all the time um okay you probably remember i've mentioned i'm gonna 
received a Papil Pedalum uh, Ho Chi Minh, which this is it. I've received it as a gift and repotted it recently and I'm really hoping it's going to grow and bloom for me because um, I wanted the Magic Lantern and the Magic Lantern is absolutely boo-boo and I don't like it and I'm upset with it because I had it once a long time ago and it didn't do anything for me. So this is my Sturbic Odontioda and it's growing this massive huge growth and hopefully it will bloom soon. Anyway, let's move to the pot of interest which basically... oh. Come on, move. Which is this? Which is this? Is this? This is the initial Lekuza pot. So in the initial Lekuza pot, we have the most beautiful orchids, which is the Papil Pedalum Armeniacum cross with Colopangi, um, which is Papil Pedalum Vosne Col Colarmi, which is the basically the beautiful with the yellow um, Rothschildianum type flowers. Then we have the Del Rossi crossed with Pinocchio, which I think it might produce a flower soon because there is something there. And it's look at this, guys, it's grown absolutely big. And this is the newest leaf, and it's absolutely huge, and it's really, really lo lovely. And you can see this pot is very mottled, there is a lot of mottling here, and I absolutely love the patterns on them, guys. Um, this is the Pinocchio. The Pinocchio actually surprisingly is growing a something within a something within a something so i'm hoping for a new bloom it might come soon in the autumn and uh, you can see also this guy has three new growths and then i have the papupedalum nathaniel's florence which is growing really well so everything every, and everyone's really happy i'm very happy and i yeah this is my update for you for august uh, in, full, in full honesty, the hero of the August update is going to be the evening colours, which I can't get enough, and I hope you can't get enough of it too. Um, so thank you for watching again, and if you like my channel, please leave a comment and subscribe and share, and if you have a questions or you want to comment on something, just please do it, and if you if you want to talk to me, just please let me know. Okay, thanks again and see you guys. Bye.